Mark and Michelle, today's home invasion happened in the mansion you see behind me here. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt, but almost two years ago, another home invasion just down the block with a deadly outcome. Festive holiday lights adorn the outside of this downy home. No obvious signs of the horror that unfolded inside during a home invasion robbery. Oh, that's pretty, pretty crazy around this neighborhood. Yeah, you know, being a home invasion and quiet neighborhood, it's pretty, pretty shocking to some of us around here. It happened in broad daylight around 11 a.m. on Lesterford Avenue. The suspect reportedly wearing a ski mask, terrorizing the housekeeper who was home. It's unclear what was taken before the suspect fled the scene. Police aren't commenting on the crime other than to say they are investigating. I saw the police. That was, that's all I saw. So. I already had an idea what happened. This isn't the first time this quiet neighborhood has been the scene of a violent crime. I knew when I moved here that's it was kind of common that uh, there was a guy last year, the year before, got he was killed just around the corner. Uh, St. Was it the street? No, down the street, right on the corner. Less than a block away. It happened in January 2016. Real estate agent Jim Rudimetkin killed during a home invasion robbery. Three suspects charged with his murder. Investigators say it was not a random crime. It's unclear if the home today was specifically targeted or not. Authorities now reviewing surveillance video in hopes of quickly identifying the suspect. Again, police releasing very little about the case. That housekeeper, thankfully, was not hurt in that violent break-in.